Hey guys, so you've seen the demo of the floating body effect, but it's now time to show you guys how to edit it in Final Cut Pro X. The process will be similar in other video editing software though. So there are essentially three steps to the process. Step one, add a freeze frame to the clip you want to add the floating effect to, then place the freeze frame above your original clip. Two, draw the mask. And three, add keyframes for the floating effect. It's really simple and fun, so let's do it. Let's start off with this clip here where I stretch my arm out. I'm going to bring the playhead to the exact position of where my arm is fully extended. I'm now going to add a freeze frame by pressing down the Alt and F keys. Alternatively, you can go to Edit and then select Add Freeze Frame. Next, click and drag the freeze frame and position it above the original clip, making sure that the ends of both clips are aligned like this. Aligning them is key. We don't want the entire clip, so open up the effects browser, go to masks and drag draw mask onto your freeze frame. Go ahead and add control points around the area of the body you want floating. In my case, it's my arm. I find it best to zoom into around 200% or more and adjust the view so you can add precise control points. Try to keep them as close as possible because you'll get the best results by doing that. You'll find that it can be quite time consuming drawing the mask, especially when doing it for a large area or the whole body, like I did several times in my video, but the end result was so worth it. Okay, once you're done, go to the inspector and increase or decrease the feather element to make it blend in better, if you want to, you don't have to do this. The third and final step is to add keyframes for the floating effect. Go to the end of the mask clip and add a keyframe. Now go to the beginning of the clip and add another keyframe, but this time move the clip to where you want the movement to begin. I'm going to keep this one simple and bring it in from the left and that's it, that's one done. Let's play it back. Cool. So if you want multiple body parts at the same time, simply copy and paste your mask clip and adjust the keyframe positioning for each one. Nice and simple. For the rotating effect that I did, simply rotate the body part in the first keyframe as many times as you want it to rotate. I personally think once is enough. And just like that, you've got your very own floating body parts. If there are any parts you don't want moving, simply skip step three as you won't need to add any keyframes. I did this here where my trainers don't move as I thought it looked cool with them being still and me effectively stepping into them. Just be sure to adjust the length of the clip on the timeline so it's seamless. Oh, and if you want multiple body parts to appear at the same time, then just stack those clips on top of each other like I've done here. Otherwise, the process is basically the same three steps each time. Easier than you thought, right? I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you did and thank you for watching.